Hey guys, TSG Lover here. I um, haven't made a video in a little while, but um, yeah, up for to um, prepare for YCS Brighton, um, I've been testing different decks, and um, yeah, I was playing TG Stun for a while, but I realised that I'm not going to be able to get hold of uh, a few certain key cards in the deck, mostly Skill Drain, which is something I don't, I just can't seem to get hold of it, so. Yeah, it's a shame, so I decided I'm going to play Gravekeepers instead. Um, I, really, I really haven't had much practice with the deck, but the deck is quite autopilot in the sense of um, the plays that you can make and stuff like that. Um, I just had the cards lying around, so I could just quickly make the deck. And there's a few, uh, that are, you can see there's a proxies and stuff like that, so uh, there's a few cards missing that I've ordered online. Um, and I'll just explain why and stuff like that. So... Um, Pretty standard, uh, three spies, three descendants. It might go down to two because currently this deck is 41 cards, so I'm, I want to change that to 40. Uh, commandant or commandant, three of them. Search out your Necro Valley, which is a key to have on the field because of plants and um, yeah, uh, stops their monster to be born plays and stuff like that. Um, as you can see, I haven't got three recruiters yet quite hard to get hold of now. Uh but I got three of those. Uh assailant and my choice, uh two diners. Um I've been playing diners a bit and they're okay. It's just they get easy to get over really. Um I mean this is probably the best tech card and gravekeepers you can play next to possibly Malefic Stardust but really they're both decent ish. You could do either one. I mean I I like the the stopping special summons. It's good against agents. Really, um, oh yeah, this this deck actually wrecks agents really bad, which is why I hope will be played. Uh, three Necro Valleys, obviously. Card is broke, firstly at the moment. Uh, pot, three pots, two Gravekeeper Stellies. I believe it's Steady, but yeah, you know what it does. Plus one to your hand. Uh, book, Dark Hole. I was playing Monster Born for a while but um obviously that was a big mistake. Kept being dead in my hand and stuff like that. Um a law of darkness. Uh extra draw power. Um uh, mystical space typhoons and these two that, that one is uh royal, one royal tribute because of uh, dark worlds and I don't really care for I don't really I mean there's many decks that don't really care about having their stuff removed, not removed them, um, discarded from the hand. I mean, Agents is good beats, but I can use Necro Valley to beat them already, so one Royal Tribute. Um, Wonder Wand. Um, I'm going to run two of these, that's why I've got this one. Foxy here. My friend's going to let me borrow his uh, Ultra one. Yeah, really good. I'm going to put this aside so I can explain why it's so good, if you don't know already. Um, that's obviously a second Wonder Wand. Uh, for traps, we've got two Warnings, two, no, one Judgment. Two bottomless trap pots. I was running one of these, but actually, um, against rabbit, it's a uh, really good. Uh, two starlight road because uh, protects your field spell, protects your swarms, and uh, it's a nice, just a nice extra stardust, you know. And it beats out this uh, starlight, not starlight, solemn warnings. Um, compulsory, one of them because it gets rid of stardust. Uh, torrential. Because um, my deck doesn't really go, isn't really fast, so it slows down the opponent a bit. Uh, Mirror Force and Trap the Shoot. So yeah, the deck is really working quite well. Um, I'm really quite glad to um, play it at uh, YCS Brighton. Um, Yeah, so I hope there's not going to be many GK players because um, in a mirror match, I'm not really sure how my deck would play out. It's all about whoever can get the plays off first. Anyway, the main play with the deck is definitely um, having Spy face down. Obviously, it's 2500 under Necro Valley in defense. So, obviously, it gets attacked. Oh no, he didn't get over it. Even with Stardust, didn't didn't do anything. Um, then, obviously, you special summon Descendant. Or you special summon recruiter, you summon the other card, you tribute this, destroy their card, you search. Also, you can also summon this, or you can special summon spy, 
So you've got a plus one off recruiter here. Plus one. Let's get rid of this, I don't need that. So you plus one off this summon, and then you have one to one in your hand. Activate it. Send them both to the grave. Draw two cards. And you've uh, plus freed because you search with recruiter. So really good play. Um, there is options to play stuff like Gale and uh, play other free star tuners so you can go into Arcanite Magician because Arcanite Magician you can pop two cards and you can uh, ditch with Wonder Wand. Um, Wonder Wand really does make this deck really good. Also obviously you can't uh, ignore the 500 attack boost which is when obviously you have to send an all common commandant on the field it goes up to 25 or um, yeah so easy to attack over that shit so um, you can attack over the thing, gain a plus one, and then tribute. So, yeah, really, really good deck. Um, I'm much more confident with this deck than I was with TG Stun and um, Machina Gadgets, which I did make before. And Light Swans, I don't really think it's capable of winning a YCS, so... Yeah, but this deck has a lot of potential. I've built it right, I'm pretty sure of it. I've not built it wrong, really. I mean, you can disagree with that, but I feel like it's perfect. Um, my side deck is, uh, well, I had Fossil Dynas in the side deck, but obviously I've taken them out now. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see you guys in about a week and a bit, if you're going to Brighton. Uh, THT Lover out.